This is Bob. And I'm gonna make him the best bank player that ever existed. But maybe you need some background. In the last video I've made a game in less than 8 hours, based on the old well-known game Tank. I made that game available and some of you tried. The problem was that a lot of friends wrote to me because they beat my record and as the reasonable person I am I want to beat the shit out of them. So I did what every normal person would do. I've made an AI that plays the game to smash their dreams and hopes forever. Following some online guides, I've coded a simple neural network. My plan is to train Bob through what is called a genetic algorithm, which is a method of learning inspired by the process of natural selection. Essentially, I'm gonna make Bob try random stuff at the beginning while playing the game and after he dies I'm gonna give him a score, usually called fitness value, based on how well he performed. To make natural selection effective, I'll need Bob to make a lot of attempts and after every generation I'll keep the ones with the highest fitness value and mutate them, which means changing randomly what defines how he reacts to the given inputs. After the mutation a new generation is born and the training begins again. When does the cycle ends? Essentially when I'm satisfied with the result. After this wonderful and brief explanation let's start with the training. I've opened the game scene and modified it in order for Bob for being able to train. I've given Bob some sensors and so let the training begin. Ok, no, 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 this is gonna take forever. You know what we need? We need some friends to help Bob. Let me add them. Ok, much better, now let him train again. My first attempt was to reward him based on how much time he was able to remain alive. But just after a few minutes it was clear that this wasn't the correct way of giving Bob the score. I mean, he just ran right without doing anything. This led me to think that maybe I should reward him with a combination of the points he makes and the time he stays alive. I've updated the fitness function and restarted the training from scratch. The good part of machine learning is that you don't need to be at the computer, so I left and in the meantime I went gathering some foods, you know, quarantine stuff. At my return Bob had beat the game, in less than half an hour he was able to master this game. I guess you want to see the result right? Are you ready? Yes, apparently this is the winning strategy. You reach more than a thousand points just by standing still, like that, for who knows how much time. And I just got bored of watching and stopped him, otherwise I guess he could have gone a lot longer, maybe forever, who knows. This was not what I had in mind, I've imagined Bob playing like how a normal player would do, like moving a lot and dodging balloons, this is just boring to watch. So. I decided to start over and adjust the fitness function to force him to move. First attempt was to reward him every time he decides to move, but Bob is smarter than me. He learned that by moving left and right immediately after, he can make more points in the same way as he did before, and this led him to the same strategy, reaching that point and shoot non-stop. To try and counter this, I have removed the reward when he decides to move and instead gave him a lower score when he stays around the same point for more than 2 seconds. This should prevent him from camping. The result of this was kinda better, but still not enough. I'm getting closer to what I had imagined, but still Bob likes running to the right part and staying there. Maybe it's because the balloons always spawn to the left side, I don't know, let's try and randomize the spawn of the balls. Well, after some time spent training something has changed but still Bob isn't that good at the game. A big changement I tried to make at this point was how he perceived the world. At the moment he has some kind of sensor that warns him when a balloon is closed but he isn't aware of every ball in the room with him, and maybe this is one of the problem. I've therefore changed the input of the neural network by telling Bob the distance from each balloon currently in motion. The results were noticeable. 
they started reacting to the world in a more realistic way. Next step was to force him away from that damn right side of the screen. So I throw away my idea of preventing him from camping and instead rewarding him when he is far away from the sides. That means that the closer and the longer he stays near the center of the screen, the higher the fitness value he gets. That I think might have worked. I mean, he's playing almost decently. Fantastic! He's not reaching great scores though. I've decided to make his training harder by giving him just one life. Yes, until now he had three lives when training. This maybe was my mistake. At this point, I've started playing with the layers of the neural network to try a different number of neurons of the hidden layers. After a few attempts and a long training time, Bob reached some decent level of gameplay. I guess that by rewarding him when staying in the center and with a new neural network topology, he learned how to play in the way I expected to. And this makes me so happy, because I was getting really tired of watching him failing. He still can't play forever or reach a high score like his lazy brother. But at least he seems more like a human player. This is all for now. Maybe I'll try to make him better again in the future, if I ever find the will to. So go and check the game, it's free on each IO, and try to beat Bob's record if you can. I'll leave the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video leave a like and let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you want to see more and see you next time!